Uh, the gentleman from California, Mr. Ice, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, the gentlelady from the north, while I am deep in the Confederacy of California, uh, went through quite a litany of, of good opponents to the bill. I'd like to add to that by unanimous consent the following, a joint letter by 160 entrepreneurs, founders, and CEOs and executives, a letter expressing concern about SOPA from the Digital Media Association, a statement by the Consumer Electronics uh, Association, Electronic Association, which was denied an opportunity to be here as a witness, a letter signed by 53 venture capitalists expressing concern regarding the, the uh, PROTECT Act, and a transcript of recent remarks made by Vice President Joe Biden that he gave in, at the London Cybersecurity Conference germane to his concerns about this bill. Uh, without objection. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've been the victim of piracy, so you're not going to have a problem with me agreeing with the problem. Hardware, software, got it all. But, Mr. Clark, I'm going to hope that you can stretch for this part of it, even though it's not in your title. You're familiar with the ITC, aren't you? Yes, I am. Pfizer regularly, for patent infringement on imported products, would go to the ITC and get relatively quick justice using administrative law judges available to them and injunctive relief against a patent violator, correct? Outside of my field, but I would believe that would be the case. So when we deal with rogue elements outside the jurisdiction of the United States that are importing in the United States, we have a history uh, of, uh, of, of an organization that is quick, administrative, and can have continued jurisdiction against non-U.S. entities who are, in fact, trying to take what they have stolen and sell it into America. Is that you correct? Correct in your understanding? Generally speaking, yes. Okay, have any of the other of you, or just raise your hands, worked with the ITC in your background or are familiar with them? One other. Well, let me just run through quickly because time will be very limited and questions seem to be, the answer seems to be long. We have a court of jurisdiction. Now, they do not specifically have the mandate to follow the money and to provide injunctive relief against Google, eBay, or anybody else after they find an offshore infringer and seek remedies. They have their own consuls, they have administrative law judges, they have a procedure. Mr. Chairman, I object to this, this bill in its current form, mostly because I believe it fails to use tools that are generally better than the tools that we have at our disposal in this bill. And I believe that if the real remedy sought is, in fact, a court of continued jurisdiction specializing in intellectual property and designed to, in fact, reach a quick solution to a question of whether there is wrongdoing, and then follow the money through injunction, not through fines, and obviously a criminal referral. My intention is to offer legislation on a bipartisan basis that will in fact look at the legitimate concerns, take a great deal of these 80 pages. However, and this is where it's tough, Mr. Chairman, and ranking member, suggests that a, a jurisdiction not within this committee get a substantial portion of this bill because I believe that that is as appropriate as it is for the federal courts to consider domestic entities who are violating it. And so with that, uh, Ms. Ayama, if I'm pronouncing it right, yes. has, in your experience, has Google worked with uh, the ITC or any other uh, administrative law judges in, in, in executing on other people's uh, judgments? Mm -hmm. I would imagine in the patent context, yes, it's not my field, so I can't speak to it. Okay. Recently. But do you agree that, that having a court of continued jurisdiction that, in fact, can work for injunctive relief as technology is available is generally something that, that Google and the other search engines would see as, as reasonable once there is a judgment entered against uh, an offender somewhere? Yeah, I think we'd be happy to work on that type of solution. And I'm going to get to the others, but Mr. Clark... Uh, if you had that and you had a judgment against party A who had an internet site and then 25 other similar parties show up from the same country and have all the identities uh, that, that tell you it's basically the same group you already have a judgment against, wouldn't you benefit from having a court that we specifically gave jurisdiction to to determine quickly that those are alter egos and execute upon them so that you wouldn't go through this whack-a-mole again and again trying to prove to somebody that it's basically the same people doing it again? 
My working relationship with the ITC has been very, very limited. I'm not, I'm not quite certain what their capabilities are. If you're saying you're going to empower them to do certain work like that, it would make some sense. Um, Curren currently, they are the, uh, and the others will probably know this, this, that's a place that plaintiffs go to if there's any importation and they have a patent because they can administer a decision faster than the fastest rocket, fastest rocket do docket. And unlike the eBay decision, they have injunctive relief not only as a tool but as their one and only tool and they use it without discretion because in fact that is the mandate of congress but you were still talking of a referral process i think to doj then for a criminal follow-up and for asset recovery. right and, and I, re I recognize at some point the administrative law judges look and say we have a domestic entity that is not complying with our injunctions or or a a site that is just as rogue in the u.s so i'm, I'm very aware that there are elements here that if you are cooperating or facilitating with uh, a foreign entity that there would have to be a referral, that's not going to be Yahoo or Google or eBay. It's going to be, as you know, the rogue sites you fight every day. Right. And I would just be worried about the bifurcation of activity and, and then the referral process and the elongation of, of, of the, the end result if, if something like that were arranged. Well, I look forward to showing uh, both our witnesses and the committee that, in fact, the ITC's time to uh, uh, judgment and their execution is actually much shorter than our federal courts and less discretionary than the Justice Department generally. And I thank the gentleman, uh, the chairman.